This engineering is elementary digital how-to will demonstrate the creation of circuits to illustrate the differences between open and closed circuits, as well as series and parallel circuits, using the materials from lessons 3 and 4 of an alarming idea, designing alarm circuits. To use a battery in a circuit, insert the battery into a battery holder with the negative side against the spring. To use a light bulb, screw the light bulb into a bulb holder until the bottom of the bulb is firmly making contact with the holder's metal plate. An open or incomplete circuit occurs when current is unable to flow out of the battery and back. Here, the circuit is incomplete because the negative pole of the battery is wired to the bulb, but the positive pole is not. And so, the bulb does not light. A closed or complete circuit occurs when current is able to flow through the entire circuit. By connecting the positive pole of the battery to the bulb, the circuit is completed and the bulb lights. This circuit is a series circuit because there is only one path through which electricity can flow and the current goes through every component in the circuit. Unlike series circuits, parallel circuits contain multiple paths through which electricity can flow. This schematic diagram represents one possible way to make a parallel circuit with a light bulb and a buzzer. To prepare this example parallel circuit, first attach a test lead to each terminal of the battery case, and then attach two additional test leads to the ends of each of these first leads. Next, attach one negative lead and one positive lead to the metal plate of the bulb holder, and then Connect the remaining negative and positive leads to the buzzer.